And you know what? I just realized that people might not hear this because my mic is getting squished. So I'm breastfeeding. The walker just informed me that I am breastfeeding Vienna. I am not breastfeeding. What kind of jumping jacks are those? Hey guys, and happy 2017. I wanted to do a video and share with you 10 ways that I plan on making this the best year ever. Actually, not just me, my husband's gonna share too. Hi, Walkman. Hi, how are you? <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Do Thank you. Have, like, you. springs in your feet? Yes, I was doing my Superman pose. So this, this guy's gonna join me. He's gonna share five ways that you're gonna make yes. 2017 awesome, and I actually have Best no idea. Best year ever. I know, I have no idea what you're gonna say. And I don't know what you're gonna say. Whatever. Here goes. Okay, so the first way I'm gonna make 2017 as awesome as possible is I am going to practice monotasking. What I mean by that is no more multitasking joy. No more multitasking joy. I am terror. I am a terrible multitasker. You know what you always say? You always hear that people say women are amazing multitaskers. Not this chick. When I'm on my computer, I have too many windows open. I have my phone on. I end up taking twice as long to do stuff. So monotasking is what I'm gonna start doing today. All right. So the first way I'm gonna make 2017 kick ass is it might sound a little weird but I'm going to think small. Like, Walker, what are you talking about? Think small. You're supposed to think big. I'm like, no, I'm going to think small because you know what someone once told me and it stuck with me forever is that it's not about the home runs, it's about the base hits. So you got to focus on the base hits piece by piece and you're going to make something amazing happen. No cell phones, Walker. Are you hearing what are you this? Looking at me for? No cell phones past 8 p.m. This means if you ask me a question, I'm sorry ahead of time, on Instagram about a recipe, I won't be able to get back to you if it's 8 p.m. EST or later. Cell phones are not, are not really health promoting at all. Unless you're looking at recipes on my blog, then that's health promoting. <laughs> Okay, so first up I talked about thinking small, now I'm going to talk about dreaming big. I've always been the person who has looked uh, at the practical side of things and not necessarily looked at the bigger picture, but today I'm going to look big. 2017 is going to be a big year and we're going to get there by taking small steps. Give at least 12 hugs a day. Now I actually, Walkman, I need you to come back in here for this one because I actually need to give you a big joyous hug! Nice. Hugs! Oh. So hugging is really, really good for you. It helps to release oxytocin. It connects you better with others. Hugging just makes everybody feel better. So I mean, I think, oh, you're really squeezing me. I, I think that I give 12 hugs a day. Joy says I need to be more uppity. Yes. I need to be more uppity. uppity. Yes. This is as uppity as I get. This year, I'm going to disconnect during family time. I think Joy might have stole my point. I'm not really sure. <laughs> But no, you stole my point. No, you stole my point. <laughs> Anyways, whenever we're with family, whenever Joy and I are together, or with little Vienna, or whoever it might be, we need to disconnect. We're on our computers, we're on our screens way too much as it is already. And that's why I have these bags under my eyes. Do you see this? No. You see this? Did you guys see my video from last week on five ways I detox every day? Well, this is definitely something that I'm going to be doing every day. Making sure that I drink tons and tons of water. So I'm breastfeeding. Breastfeeding, yeah. I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> That's a very good point, Walker. So Walker just informed me that I am breastfeeding Vienna. I am not breastfeeding. So anyhow, when you breastfeed, you need to drink a lot more water. I've always been someone who drinks water but even more so because I am a nursing mama. So, drink more water in 2017. I'm going to surround myself with positive vibes. All right, and I've oh, already- Oh, well, that's good, you're always with me then. <laughs> <laughs> and I've already started doing that. I've made these little signs at my desk and depending on what mood I'm in, I can have it face me either way. If I need to like get shit done, don't give up. If I'm a little stressed out, and breathe. It's so nice and calming. Anyways, I've got more coming and my workspace is going to be awesome and positive. And the last way I'm going to make 2017 awesomely joyous is by using two mantras every day. I told Walker that I want to print them off and put them beside my office. I want to have them beside the bed. And do you guys want to know what these two mantras are? Walker, you may have to believe me. Make shit happen and you are a badass. 
Those are my two mantras. Every day, guys, make shit happen. You are a badass. And my last way to make 2017 your best year ever is to buy this book. Yay! Joyous Detox. I am not biased at all. <laughs> like, I don't even know this chick, but I hear it's an awesome book and it's gonna change your life. It's gonna make every day that much better. So buy it. Amazon, Indigo, where else can you get it? Barnes and Noble. Okay guys, so that was our 10 ways to make 2017 awesome. I really yes. liked yours. Thank you, I yeah. liked yours. Yeah, thanks for the plug you for my book. You took two of mine though, No, you, no, I came up, I went first. So technically you took mine. Joy, whatever. Anyhow, we wanna hear from you. How yes. are you gonna make 2017 awesome? Comment below, let us know, and we hope that you're inspired. We hope that you have an awesome year. You have a joyous year. Yeah, have a joyous year. So comment below, ask us your questions. Subscribe, subscribe below. Subscribe and give yes. us a thumbs up. Yay! Boom. Thanks, right. guys. Bye. Have a joyous day.